Picture this, it's 1957, the air crackles with the innocence of a bygone era, and the glow of a black and white television sets the stage for a rendezvous with the McCoys. A Real McCoys, a TV series that once danced through the cathode rays, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of those who stumbled upon its rustic charm. Can you recall the first time the screen flickered to life, revealing the quaint world of the McCoys? Perhaps it was the crackling warmth of Grandpa Amos, dispensing wisdom as freely as he did his homemade apple cider. Or maybe it was the unfiltered laughter of little Luke, echoing through the living room like a melody from a simpler time. Whatever the memory, the real McCoys held a special place in the collective heart of viewers, an invitation to a world where simplicity wasn't a flaw but a virtue. Now, let's journey back to that time and unravel some random facts about the show. Did you know that the series was not only a forerunner of the rural sitcom genre, but also a cultural touchstone that inadvertently captured the essence of a changing America? Imagine the anecdotes that unfolded behind the scenes, the untold stories that added depth to the characters we came to love. As we delve into the untold tales, let's uncover the tapestry of the real McCoy's a show that transcended its airtime to become a cherished piece of television history. So, buckle up for a ride down memory lane where the hills were alive with the sound of the McCoy family, and every episode felt like a homecoming. Welcome to the realm of the real McCoys, where each fact is a brushstroke on the canvas of nostalgia. And who knows, you might just rediscover a gem you forgotten from that golden age of television. The Real McCoys, lost in translation in the classic 1957 TV series, The Real McCoys, the rural charm, and distinctive speech of its characters, particularly the hillbillies and Hispanic cast members, added a unique flavor to the show. However, for the hearing impaired, the essence of this country humor often gets lost in translation. The culprit, closed captioning that adheres to proper spelling and grammar, but falls short in capturing the rustic, countrified speech and grammar of the characters. Take Grandpa McCoy, for instance, who transforms checkers into checkies and picture show into picture show. His pronunciation quirk, turning words ending in er or an into an i sound, adds to the show's authenticity. Yet, closed captioning, striving for correctness, misses the mark, leaving viewers with a sanitized version of the McCoy's country charm. Even Pepino's frequent use of the Mexican exclamation I Chihuahua gets watered down to a bland Jiwao. In the quest for grammatical precision, closed captioning sacrifices the true essence of the show's humor. The argument here is clear, prioritizing proper spelling and grammar over the genuine country speech deprives the audience, particularly those with hearing impairments, of the unique appeal that made the real McCoy stand out. In the pursuit of inclusivity, perhaps it's time to reconsider the rigid adherence to grammatical norms in closed captioning, especially for shows with such distinct linguistic characteristics. After all, understanding the true country humor of the McCoys is more important than adhering to grammatical rules. It's not about G-Wow, it's about I Chihuahua. Unveiling the real McCoys, Richard Krenna's stalwart presence in the realm of 1957 TV series, The Real McCoy stands as a timeless classic, captivating audiences with its straightforward charm. Amid the rustic backdrop of the McCoy family's rural adventures, one figure remains a constant, Richard Krenna. Remarkably, Krenna held the distinction of being the sole cast member to grace all 224 episodes of the series, a testament to his enduring role in bringing the McCoys to life. From the series' inception, Krenna's character, Luke McCoy, became the linchpin of the narrative, providing a consistent anchor for viewers. While the show evolved over its run, Krenna's unwavering commitment to his role ensured a seamless connection between the audience and the McCoy family's escapades. His enduring presence became an integral part of the show's success. Intriguingly, as the McCoy story unfolded, a peculiar naming quirk emerged. Luke McCoy, the patriarch, shared an identical first name with his younger brother, Little Luke. Curiously, the series never delved into the rationale behind this nomenclature, leaving viewers to speculate on the origins of this familial peculiarity. The real McCoys ventured into uncharted territory when it transitioned from ABC to CBS for its conclusive sixth season. This shift brought about significant changes, with certain characters facing an unceremonious exit from the storyline. Luke McCoy's wife, Kate, met her demise, and his brother, Little Luke, was dispatched to a distant boarding school, vanishing from the narrative without explanation. 
This abrupt departure left fans puzzled, wondering about the fates of these once prominent characters. The decision to alter the familial dynamics injected an element of realism into the series, reflecting the unpredictable nature of life. As we revisit the real McCoys, Richard Crenna's enduring presence, and the enigmatic naming choice within the McCoy family emerge as defining aspects of the show's legacy. In its final season, the series took a bold step, reshaping its narrative landscape and leaving an indelible mark on the annals of television history. In the end, The Real McCoy serves as a testament to the era's storytelling prowess, with Richard Crenna's unwavering commitment anchoring the show's success. The show's intriguing dynamics and unexpected twists continue to captivate audiences, reminding us of a bygone television era that shaped the landscape of family-centric programming. The real McCoy's grandparental dynamics and geographical irony in the world of 1,957 seconds The Real McCoy's, the age dynamics of the McCoy family stirred up more than just on-screen drama. Although Amos McCoy was scripted as the grandfather of Luke McCoy, reality took an interesting turn. Walter Brennan, the actor portraying Amos, was only 32 years older than Richard Crenna, who played Luke. In the Appalachian context, this might seem peculiar, but early marriages were a norm. In the region of the McCoy family's origin, it wasn't uncommon for fathers to become grandfathers before hitting 30, given the practice of young marriages. Grandmothers, too, were often surprisingly youthful. The McCoy family, hailing from West Virginia and making their way to sunny California, brought more than familial quirks. They delivered a catchy theme song. The lyrics painted a vivid picture of the clan, old grandpappy Amos, and the girls and boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. The song celebrated the joys of family life, highlighting Kate's prowess in both looks and cooking. Grandpappy Amos, the lion-hearted yet gentle head of the clan, oversaw the laughter, sorrows, and occasional family fuss, making the McCoys a relatable yet endearing household. As the show unfolded on television screens, the audience might have been surprised to learn that the McCoy's farm, supposedly nestled in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles, didn't match the modern image of suburban sprawl. Back in the 1940s, the valley was more farmland than concrete jungle, with orange trees, dairy, and egg farms, and walnut orchards dotting the landscape. A 1944 hit song by Bing Crosby even romanticized the area as cow country. However, the valley transformed rapidly in the 50 seconds and 60 seconds, coinciding with the real McCoys. Ironically, the show wasn't filmed in the valley but found its rural backdrop in Culver City at DeZillu Studios. The juxtaposition of a farm life sitcom in a region evolving from agriculture to urbanity adds a layer of historical irony to the real McCoys. While the show echoed the rural charm of a bygone era, its production reflected the changing face of Los Angeles. The San Fernando Valley, once synonymous with agriculture, now stands as a sprawling hub of entertainment and residential complexes. In the end, the real charm of the real McCoy's lies not just in its on-screen narratives, but in the intriguing real-world dynamics that shaped both the characters and the backdrop of this classic TV series. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of the real McCoys, we invite you to pause and reflect on the timeless charm of this 1957 TV series. It's more than just a show, it's a nostalgic journey that takes us back to simpler times when the joys of family, humor, and heartwarming tales reign supreme. The real McCoys captured the essence of rural life with a warmth that's impossible to replicate. The endearing characters, led by Grandpa Amos and the rest of the McCoy clan, remind us of the enduring power of family bonds, laughter, and the strength found in our roots. Now, we encourage you to share your own treasured memories, anecdotes, or thoughts about this classic series. What moments made you laugh till you cried? Which character do you most resonate with? How did the show touch your heart? Your stories and reflections can keep the spirit of the real McCoys alive allowing it to continue touching the lives of generations to come. After all, the magic of this series lies in its ability to bring people together through shared experiences and timeless lessons. Thank you for taking this moment to journey back in time with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Let's keep the legacy of the real McCoys alive in our hearts and in the stories we share.